Mike Brenning's investigative skills meant he could make anybody confess. But if a city's soul is measured by its public officials, it seems Chicago's was going straight to hell. Hi, Sam. I got that dope you wanted on Branning. Hildy Johnson, reporter for the Chicago Daily News. She was a dame making it in a man's world and with more guts than most guys wish they had. Get this, Sam. Branning's election to chief was rigged. Seems he promised fat jobs and easy money for the favor. But he welched on the deal. Now this guy's real sore, just itching to spill all he knows. Branning's double-crossed so many in the city, I'm going deaf from all the squealing, Sam. I got enough to bury this guy deeper than Annie Lowitz. Can you make the next edition? Sammy boy, it's already done. On the presses now. Gee, I'd like to see Branning's face when he gets a load of this. And I'll drink to that. You watch people long enough, you're sure to see something. If you know what you're looking for. But in a town like Chicago, catching the killer ain't so easy. Sure, all the stiffs led back to the Flamingo. But that joint had more than the usual number of suspects. Being in the right place was nothing. Now the trick was figuring out what to look. Tell me you were running out of me, huh? He's gonna send you a telegram from Mexico. <gasps> Where were you today? I was at the salon, baby. You know what I do to people with double cross me. It ain't pretty, is it, sweetheart? No. Is it? Hi there, Sammy boy. Well, I guess if you're reading this, I didn't show up for work today. And you know me. If I didn't show up for work, guess that means I must be dead. That's a shame. Reckon I could have got a Pulitzer for this one. Okay, Sammy boy. Just to be sure I didn't die for nothing, here's the scoop. I know who the executioner is. <laughs> 